Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White The Mother, September 12th Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, he praiseth her. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 28 Happy are the parents whose lives are a true reflection of the divine, so that the promises and commands of God awaken in their children gratitude and reverence. The parents whose tenderness and justice and long-suffering interpret to the children the love and justice and long-suffering of God, and who, by teaching the children to love and trust and obey them, are teaching them to love and trust and obey their Father in heaven. Parents who impart to their children such a gift have endowed them with a treasure more precious than the wealth of all ages, a treasure as enduring as eternity. In the children committed to her care, every mother has a sacred charge from God. Take this son, this daughter, he says, train it for me, give it a character polished after the similitude of a palace, that it may shine in the courts of the Lord forever. The mother's work often seems to her an unimportant service. It is a work that is rarely appreciated. Others know little of her many cares and burdens. Her days are occupied with a round of little duties, all calling for patient effort, for self-control, for tact wisdom, and self-sacrificing love. Yet she cannot boast of what she has done as any great achievement. She has only kept things in the home running smoothly, often weary and perplexed. She has tried to speak kindly to the children, to keep them busy and happy, and to guide their little feet in the right path. She feels that she has accomplished nothing, but it is not so. Heavenly angels watch the careworn mother, noting the burdens she carries day by day. Her name may not have been heard in the world, but it is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. There is a God above, and the light of and glory from his throne rests upon the faithful mother as she tries to educate her children to resist the influences of evil. No other work can equal hers in importance. She has not like the artist to paint a form of beauty on canvas, nor like the sculptor to chisel it from marble. She has not like the author to embody a noble thought in words of power, nor like the musician to express a beautiful sentiment in melody. It is hers, with the help of God, to develop in the human soul the likeness of the divine. This was your daily devotional. Thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Homeward Bound